as we have discussed earlier, HDFS works in master worker architecture. We are going to have n number of worker and a master. As per the configuration within this specific cluster, I do have I do have three data nodes running in these different nodes, as well as the name node daemon running as a part of this specific host. And all these are controlled by the configuration, and there is a configuration file internally that's being managed. I should be in a position to log into any of the system. I should be in a position to log into any of the system and browse the HDFS. Let me go ahead and browse the HDFS. HDFS is the command. DFS is to access the file system. I want to list all the files available as a part of the root directory. I can create a directory as well. I'm going to create a directory within the root location, the name of the directory. Now within that specific directory, I should be in a position to add a file. I have n number of files available locally in this specific system. I'm going to add it into the folder within HDFS. I'm going to do a put of a file readme.txt that is the source into the target within the HDFS in the folder exit summary the name of the file readme.txt. The file should get added. So what's going to happen internally within the name node the metadata about this file will get stored and the actual blocks would get split into pieces if it is greater than the default block size or otherwise it would get stored as it is. And I should be in a position to see that particular blocks where and all it is getting stored from the UI. HDFS gives a small UI to browse with. From the name node, there is a web UI port 570 which provides the details about the HDFS using a web UI where I can check what is the configured capacity, how much amount of storage available or how much storage consumed, what are all the nodes available, in the sense how many data nodes how much amount of space have been utilized, how many blocks being managed. So all the higher level informations, this is coming from the name node. And I should be in a position to browse the file system as well. So we created a folder exec summary. Within that, we do have the file readme.txt. And within the hard disk, it will consume only this much amount of space, 5.62 KB. And I should be in a position to see the information about those files saying this particular file is distributed across these different three systems. As the requirement for the replication factor is three, it got distributed in three different systems. Of course, as an administrator, we can get into the file system and see the block information. So in a summary, HDFS is nothing but a distributed file system which will facilitate us to store any amount of data and it supports horizontal scalability.